16. Good thing you got a good count on it. Come on. Sort of these two off because they're what we mean by bagging is their milk bags um to tell that they're getting close to calf they start filling with milk itself so we sorted them off of those the front pen on the east side of the barn we looked at them this morning yeah they're the closest two ones so we will be putting them with the reds in the back on the west side that haven't calved the ones that haven't calved are in the back on the west and when they do calve we move them to the east in the back and so then the east side's getting full so then the ones that haven't calved in that front pen will shuffle some of them into the back so we keep it even through the barn so it doesn't get tight on one side so dad let these ones out i am going to move the panel so they can drink and we'll get to bedding but i think we might change a cylinder for the big bucket one of the cylinders is messed up and won't retract all the way case junk and then for our heifers we should also put some uh Hay in their feeder today. We'll get to that later. Dad's gonna go get some bales and feed the far east and that front pen that we let out on that hill. And I got enough hay for inside the barn today so he doesn't have to grind any for me. Unless he uh, gets into some free time, then he'll most likely go grab some. But uh, we're going to do that cylinder later, it sounds like. So I got to clean my windows because yesterday was horrid on the video. And I got new uh, well, protective lenses so it's not as uh, scratched up. Ah, much better. Yeah, I was going to point this out, uh, but I couldn't see it right when I got out of the shop. Uh, so dad got a little friendly with the semi-trailer for hauling bales. Every once in a while we'll uh, bring this to a spot if we only have less than a load just so we can haul the skid steer on a trailer rather than driving the tractor. And I, for, first he gave it a love tap right here and scratch it and this is uh, poly, um, rein reinforced door. And I accidentally touched the trailer there and then dad really did her in on that bottom one. But otherwise, on our previous skid steers, we uh, had glass and uh, we had broken one before. A uh, bale came back and a lot of pressure, so obviously it was just burst. But uh, ever since we've had this door, uh, we've just had scratches rather than uh, blowing up the door and having a breakdown. Even though you could take the door off and keep working, but that wouldn't be really good in this environment of us spreading straw and be all dusty. So to say the least, we're really happy with this door. A little bit extra money when we order it, but definitely worth it. better clarity and yeah, my old lenses were all scratched up from falling over while the cows are going out of the barn falling in the straw and then I always carry it in my jacket so I bet you it scratches on my coveralls here there you go so we gotta let everyone in here besides 204 because she is in her own pen beautiful day today I think it's about 22, 25. Awesome. No sweatshirt today.
There she is. Come on, everybody. Yep. Come on. Yep. <laughs> oh. Um, that's the thing with newer calves. Once they get the distance of how far they can go, they instantly know they can run all the way back. So by the time I get the slow ones up to the pen here, the ones that went up to the barn first are already come flying back. Oh, I gotta put the camera down here. So we got a couple calves to tag. You get her? There you go. These are those two cows that are gonna be uh, swapped into the back. So once we push these calves back, we'll put them in here. So that, when we gotta let these ones out first, and when we let those ones out, we'll let these two out to drink also. Can you, can you tag me? Yeah. Last video I didn't show it very well, but. It's cause it's yeah. hard. Yeah. They got two make... veins or cartilage of some sort, and if you were to tag right on that, they start bleeding. Don't know that they'll necessarily die, but... It'll make their ear droop. Yeah, so as long so you as wanna you... you want to go in between. Yeah, so our tagging point is anywhere right here, and... <laughs> Hit him a happy medium. Right about there. Perfect. Ah! Oh, man. Oh. Well, they're already gone. That ain't gonna work. Wes. Yep. Okay, man, today we're gonna let that crazy bitch out. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at him. Hey, baby. He's a nice one. We set up a pen in the back uh, just for these three we want to put them uh, oh our camera doesn't reach all the way on the bottom so we miss uh, the first six feet on the north end of our barn so we got uh, panels up there so we got three pair that we'll put back there and uh, going to a bull sale tomorrow so while we're gone and watching the camera we can uh, make sure everyone's on camera in case we have problems. There you go. Yep. Got the barn all done. Put these colored pairs in. And then I gotta go feed those heifers. 
while dad feeds the far east cows. Just an observation. You might have to move that pen. Got them breaking stuff again. Not. Uh, Way too big. 15, maybe. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Better than new. Huh? I said better than new. with our last cylinder it would only retract so that there was a about a finger length of cylinder still showing and that other cylinder was doing the job it was supposed to and as it would do that it would tweak the whole grapple make it uh, twist and bind a little bit so dad wanted to get a new one and either rebuild that old one or um, put the guts of that one into the other cylinder because uh, pin this pin broke out on me one time and we bent this port here and it leaks just a little bit but not too bad but uh, we were thinking of trying to fix that but we'll swap it out sometime here First two bales were uh, good bales, and then that last bale was uh, kosher in a wheat field. So there is traces of wheat in there.
afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Richardson, North Dakota, and the annual Forrester Red Agnes production sale. Good to be back again this year, helping uh, this wonderful family. Uh, been in the Red Agnes business as long as anybody in this country, and I think the quality really shows with an exceptional length of performance in these cattle. Set of bulls developed with you guys in mind that are gonna go out and cover a lot of cows and last a long time. He backs up these cattle as good as anybody in the business, and the set of bulls developed, like I said, with you guys in mind that are going to last forever. So, uh, as he takes over, though, let's put our hands together and thank he and the family for all their hospitality and hard work. Give them a round of applause. Here you go, Kim. We're going to give you a right snappy sale. We'll have you out of here in no time at all. We're going to start with lot one. Let's pop them up on the screen. Let's get underway. 500. 500. 7500 now. 75. That's 75. 500. 500. 500. That's 3. 2. 5. 700. 4. 45. 45. 500. 500. Now 5,000. Now 500. 500. Over to 5. 500. 55. 5. At 10,000. 500. 500. 500. 10. 5. Anybody else going to go? At 10,000. 500. 500. 500. 10. 5. Yes or no? I sold out. 10,000. 10,000. 2-3-2-1-8-5-30-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-